All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yet another video. Shit, I forgot he was coming today. Yes, sir. The year is almost over, as you can see. Okay, I got the party favors. All right. Are you done? You good? I this appreciate y'all as always, man. Y'all, y'all be showing me a lot of love over here. What are you still doing here? Matter of fact, ain't that the same damn T-shirt you was wearing I yesterday? Mean, yeah, it's the same shirt, but it's not. I just wore it in size, dog. I, All right, man. Whatever, whatever. Listen, y'all, y'all want you know this what guy? They want, man. They go want ahead, me. Bro. So go ahead. I'm tired. Of this go ahead. Dude, okay. Okay. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Let me get a close up. Yeah, we back. Y'all know what time it is. Today we got, of course, the Bacardi. It's in the building. And it's looking real nice and crispy in this new camera. I know it. And we got a little pure white Henny now. This is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to drop a like for the Henny white. Or, if you want me to drink the Bacardi, drop a like for the Bacardi gold. I'll let y'all pick. Alright, so y'all picked. Good thing is, well, I can't tell what you picked. And usually we drink Bacardi, but... We might take a little swig of the Henny today. Now let's do the correct intro. What is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B, but Cardi Bull coming at y'all again with yet the bottle. And today it is the end of 2019. And y'all know what we gotta do, man. It's been trash, basura, garbanzo beans, garbola juice all throughout 2019. We did a video earlier this year. And if you've seen that, I will not be repeating anything. Anything on that first list is not on this list. So if you missed that one, make sure after this, go peep that. And if you still ain't dropped a like on this video, what are you doing? And make sure you subscribe. Now, since we're not gonna be repeating anything, this time we're gonna be doing the top 10 worst sneakers of 2019 for the second half. And I guess, you know, since it's a special occasion, the new year's on the way, let me just go ahead and get the Henny White. Let's go ahead and pour in a fuck. Ain't nobody pouring no fucking cups. What y'all think this is? 22 wild, nigga? Mm. That was a joke. <coughs> Tony's my brother. He slick probably drink more of this than me. And I actually, Tony, I'm gonna still send you a bottle. I got like four bottles of this stuff and I still owe Tony a bottle. So I got you, don't worry. <coughs> now I gotta take it a little easy at first cause I ain't eat shit all day. And I don't know how I'm gonna edit this shit and get it up tonight, but we gonna see. So like I said, um, Put the big bottle in the back. Let's get to number 10. I got bitches. I got bitches. I got bitches. I got bitches. And hold on. I forgot. Before we get into number 10, the hoodie is not. This is not the correct position. No. The hoodie needs to be in the correct fuckboy position. Okay. Let me make sure. Is the front of the edge showing? Yes. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's in the right position. Now, at number 10, we have the air force one vtf all black air force activity with the ass out on these joints what more do i really need to say now the funny thing about this pair is that if you are an adult yacht gang bigfoot gang sasquatch gang like you know me you can't even wear these because they are only for grade school but i would never put my child <laughs> in these joints right here. Like I said before, I know there's a lot of talk about black Air Force One activity, but what kind of activity can be happening in these right here? You got the black with the gold, with the strap for ease of access. You can just slip them on, slip them off. Whose child is robbing a store in these shits? That's just... That's just all... <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to mix these just like that. They both dark, but... <clears throat> The gold rump hip different after it's been sitting on your fucking kitchen counter for six months. Anyways, bruh, at number 10, the VTFs, y'all knew these shits was gonna be hitting the list. So let's hop to number nine. Why? I got bitches. I got bitches. Damn. I got bitches. So I figured out my strat, all right? So we're gonna go from Bacardi Gold to the Henny White for every number. Now, that could be a critical mistake in a couple hours. I guess we just gonna have to wait and see. Now at number nine, we have JB and Nike fucking with things that don't need to be fucked with with this Air Jordan 1 Nova XX. Air Jordan 1 Nova 20. This is definitely one we're gonna have to take a swig for. Hold on. I feel like the Hitty seat definitely goes down better than that goddamn Bacardi, bro. Nike, JB, what is this? Why is this? Who approved 
this shit right here. What was the point? What was to accomplish by releasing these, these are outlet specials. Come on, bro. Whoever dropped these, y'all knew these shits. They're not going to fly off the shelves or nothing like that. Nobody for Christmas was like, yo, I, I can't wait to get them Air Force One Nova uh, XX joints, man. Them shits is cracking. Nah, fuck the ray guns. We don't we don't want ray guns. We, we don't want these. I want the Air Jordan One Novas. Fuck out of here. Ain't nobody saying that in the world, bruh. I ain't even supposed to be showing these because it's for another video. But yeah, uh, hello, Ray Guns. Yes, got them. Nova XX, no. I ain't buying them shits and neither is anyone else. So at number nine, the abomination. That is this Nova XX. Get these shits off my screen, bro. Let's go to number eight. Mm, bitches want my money. I know the base guy. The base guy's my friend. Swag. Okay, big bottle boys back in the building. Now I did make a mistake. Those were the Nova 20s, but I mean, who fucking cares? The next shoe we have is the Air Force One Rebel XX Sherpa. Now let me say this, when I first talked about this shoe, I asked who was sacrificed for this joint, you know, maybe Big Bird or the Cookie Monster or Elmo. And I didn't realize that the actor that played Big Bird actually had passed away. So I'm gonna just pour up one for Big Bird um, and these Rebel shits because these shits is ass. <clears throat> okay, okay, not as bad that second time. I just want to go ahead and press F to pay respects to whoever got these for Christmas or the holidays, whether or not you celebrate, because I know that these were underneath someone's tree. These were given to someone, they got them, and they said, uh, uh thanks. Uh, uh, thanks for these. Again, who is buying these, bro? What is going on? Who approved this? You have to go through samples to have a shoe drop. Come on, bro. What is with these joints? I mean, the shoe, it really just... This shit really just speak for itself when you see it. Listen, I'm done talking about these shits. That was number eight. Let's get to number seven. The base guy has bitches. So Wow, it's Marty Gras. I'm gonna fuck some bitches. Go ahead, base I'm guy. I'm gonna pray for Brick Fair. I love you. Now at number seven, let me get close up. My high fashion niggas out there. Didn't forget about you. Y'all know I fuck with y'all. Y'all got some cool shit over there, but y'all do got some ass over there as well. Some basuda over there as well. And trust me, we gonna talk about a good couple of these high fashion designer sneakers on the list. But at number seven, we have these right here. The Mason Margiela Derby Bounce Sneaker for when you have a business meeting at five and a pickup game at six. These will give you a good inch or two in the height, so bland, you're already higher up to give you a little bit of bounce in the heel as well. And, you know, for no crazy price, if you want these right here, they'll cost you $635. What? Yeah, they're six, $635, bro. If you want these, they're $635, they're fucking... Mason Margiela's, bro. What you talking about, bro? My shit is bouncing shit. You got them regular ass fucking $60 from goddamn Ross TJ Maxx. Goddamn Derby sneakers. Classy sneakers. And I got the Mason Margiela's with the bounce in the back, bro. I can dunk on you in these shits, dog. They were only $635, you know. I ain't paid a light bill this week, you know. But it's, you know, I got these shits on, so it's all good. Now, this one came in later on in the year, but again, still at number seven, the Mason Margiela Derby Bounce Sneaker. 635 for some absolute ass. Y'all are crazy over there, bro. I'm way past VIP. Can't stand next to me. I might have a burner. I might have some bitches. Now, at number six, this next shoe, it's like if the Vapor Max, the Nike Vapor Max got the fucking mumps, bro. It's these shits right here, which is called the Giddy Up jewelry sneaker now i'm pretty sure the retail on these is about 230 and if you want vapor maxes but you want them with the bum bump on them joints then these are exactly what you need right here these shits just look gross the upper materials from some of the on feet looks kind of cheap i'm sorry but for 230 i'm not spending 230 on these shits bro these shits look like the same thing i could probably cop out of pay less and well pay less so i'm gonna say less and i'm not copying these shits that that's what it is so for number six these giddy up shits no thank you sir i'm gonna just head over to the fucking flea market and find me some fake ass vapor mags for about 50 60 dollars I, I i don't know i haven't been to the flea i don't know how much are fugazi vapor maxes these days 
Moving on. I always got safety. I always got bitches. I always got defense. I always got offense. Ah. And number five, this shoe is definitely top five. I mean, honestly, the way I feel it could be number one. I hate this shoe with every fiber in my body, every molecule, every atom. This is one of the worst shoes of this year. And having it at number five says a lot. And some of y'all ain't gonna agree with me, but it's them fucking SpongeBob Tim, bro. Who is wearing SpongeBob Tims? When you think Timberland, what do you think? All black, butter, beef and broccoli. They got the 40 belows. When you say Timberland, do you think, oh, SpongeBob? Yeah, I wanna cop the Timberland SpongeBob collab. No, no, but, but apparently these shits was selling pretty well. So contrary to what I think, hey, Timberland apparently was making money off these shits. I mean, the kids seem to be eating these shits up. And you know, all I can say is, yo, salutes to Timberland. I still think these are one of the worst boots of this entire year. Baby blue Tims with jellyfish and SpongeBob and bubbles on the side. Man, if y'all don't fuck up out of here with them bullshits, bro, ain't I'm ah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I dream about bitches, mm, bitches. I'm so thirsty, I cash out on bitches. Turn up. Now at number four, we got one of the worst copies of a popular shoe of 2019. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a swig because I gotta put the ball down because I got the actual shoe that they're supposed to be. So hold on. We're still surviving. We're, we're at number four. We're doing okay. Now at number four, Steve Madden. Come on. The Steve Madden Malone. Now y'all know we talked about this shoe a few months ago in the beginning. And obviously this shoe is supposed to look like, well, this one at least is supposed to look like the off-white Chicago Air Jordan 1. But they didn't just say, yeah, let's copy that shoe. Nah, nah. We're not going to stop there. What are the most popular? Oh, the off-white. Oh, wait. That Travis Scott got. Didn't he make a brown, white, and black shoe? Well, fuck it. Let's go ahead and make him alone in that color too. Now, I have no clue how these shoes are selling. The last time I looked at the page, I was laughing at some of the fucking, uh, the comments people talking about they sending these to StockX, they're getting authenticated. It was hilarious. Steve, Steve, we see what you're doing, man. And trust me, Steve Madden ain't the only like brand that does this. There's other brands that do this where they take a design, they flip it, they put their name on it, they change it a little bit, and then they call it their own. I mean, fucking Skechers been doing that shit with the Air Max and all that. But listen, I'm gonna save that for another time. And number four, the Malones, bruh, Steve Madden, Stevie Boy. <laughs> Come on, bruh. At number three, again, I, I gotta come in close. My high fashioning is out there. We're back on your head. Now, we don't have just one shoe from number three. We actually got a three pack at number three. Three shoes I wanna talk about. First up being this Versace Ford sneaker that comes in at a little bit over $11 hundred dollars retail now they are on sale right now if you want to pick them up don't and for some of y'all that might be confused yes ford and versace for some reason collabed and this was the shoe that they came up with now they actually had clothes as well and a lot of this shit was weak the best thing out of it was definitely the ford and versace racing jacket can lie that shit was hard but these shoes Come, who approved these? I, I feel like the dudes, the suits at Ford was like, oh yeah, Robert. Oh, that's right, Jamie. Yeah, man. The four on these shits, man. They just say four, man. They'll, the people will love them. We can charge $1,100 for them. Uh, put somebody in a Mustang with these Versace shits on and a racing jacket and <laughs> we'll be good. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Robert. That's not what's happening. This is one of the laziest, laziest collapse that I've seen in a very long time. I'm just remembering that, hold on, we have to stay hydrated or dehydrated, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. There we go. Now the next one we got in this three pack coming in at $1,996 comes from Rick. And we got these Rick Owens get a sock slides sneakers shits these right here that you are looking at cost two thousand dollars retail now of course they're on sale because well 
these shits is trash. I don't know what type of person would pay $2,000 for this shoe right here. And the funny thing is, is that when I seen it, I thought these shits kind of look like samurai shoes or some shit. And then I looked it up and Geta is actually like the Japanese word for like a slide or a clog or a sandal, some shit like that. Listen, if I see someone in these shits, I'm avoiding them, bro. Cause one stomp, it's a wrap, bro. They separating your whole head in like five, six pieces, bro. And yes, this is a woman's shoe, but I guarantee you a chick lift that leg up and hit you with these. It's a wrap. Now, the last shoe in this three pack, when y'all see these and hear the price for them, I don't think y'all gonna believe me. Y'all might wanna look these shits up. It is the Marcel, Marcella, Marcel, I don't know, Arcella sandal. These shits look so nasty. Now, do y'all wanna hear the retail price for these right here? These Jesus sandals, Jesus slides? These retail for $600. And $78. Let me make sure I was right. Yeah, I was right. $678. I'm done. I don't need to say much more. That was number three. Let's get to number two. You should I need to get tested, saying clean from all the diseases. Go to your doctor. Suck my penis. And then she, she called me Jesus. Cool. Now, at number two, honestly, I don't know what it is about slides, but they can be like really dope and comfortable and cool looking. Or these shits can be some of the nastiest things we've ever seen. Like that last slide that we just talked about. Now this one, luckily Nike never ever made it. That was a smart decision. And number two, from some of the worst shoes I've seen that surfaced this year, this Air Force One slide. Again, people talk about black Air Force activity. Imagine if somebody walks in the spot where you're at. Imagine someone walking into a 7-Eleven with black Air Force One slides on. This person means business. This person does not value their life. Otherwise, they would not be wearing footwear like that. Now, right here, you only see a white pair, but I'm just imagining what type of person would wear black Air Force One slides. That person I would not wanna fuck with. So at number two, we have Air Force One slide activity and at number one well kanye you're here now i love black girls the dark of the berry i love drinking cranberry okay at number one the worst shit of 2019 other than well some of the stuff from the other list and let me just go ahead and take a swig to end it off from the bacardi bottle for bacardi bull y'all know what we gotta do man I'm still standing after drinking this shit and Henny White back to back. Kind of proud of myself, but I guess we'll see where I'm at in about 30 minutes after shit's over. At number one, we have two different shoes from Kanye. First up, I'm gonna start with definitely the nasty award of the year for a sneaker or a shoe or something you put on your feet is the Kanye Jesus socks. I still cannot believe that Kanye put these old dusty, rusty, take me to the king ass socks on his site for sale. The shits already look dirtied up. Who wants 20 to $25 dirty socks? And the thing is that someone bought these. That every time we talk about shit like this, I think someone in the world bought this and they might be wearing them right now as they're watching my video. Matter of fact, what I just thought about that. Where the fuck is my Jesus is King merch? And where is my goddamn Travis Scott, Jordan, and Nike merch? I still ain't got none of that shit. Yo, how the song go? Jesus was. God closed his pits because Kanye tried me to sell these dirty socks. Jesus was with me. Listen, if you bought these socks, again, like I said before, you are walking by faith in Kanye, not by sight. Because you know these shits is Ass. To go ahead and end this one off with a bang in 2019 off with a bang at number one We have these shits right here, which are a Kanye scuba sock shoe Thing we saw Kanye with them on I've seen a few people post some pictures about them picking them up seeing them in person Listen, I I know I can be the Kanye Yeezy Stand sometimes I, I try out stuff that other people don't like but these shits right here, bro 
Yo, Ye gonna have y'all out here in the goddamn scuba socks, bro. This is how y'all coming? Neoprene socks with goddamn rubber treading on the bottom? Listen, the, the power of Yeezy, and I know it, it can influence me as well. The power of Yeezy is so great that if these came out, they would still sell. Would they sell out? I don't know about all that. I think people are getting a little bit more hip to what's going on. But would they sell? Yes. The Kanye Scuba Steve socks are my definitive number one for 2019. Now, again, I have another video up right now. And I think that that number one shoe on my other worst sneakers list could compete with the Scuba shoe. So if you have not seen that video, go peep that. And then go ahead and send y'all off and say Happy New Year, even though I'm probably gonna be making another video after this, or not me, because I'm a cardio bull. Well, Bull will be making another video after this. Let's just go ahead and end the video off right. I appreciate you guys, as always. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and drop the like. I have to go edit this now and I need to eat because I have not eaten anything all day. <sighs> One last swig of the Henny. One last look. At the Bacardi, y'all fuck with the video, man. Drop a like on this shit. That's it. I'm see y'all next time, man. Much love, as always. Peace. I fuck through the bank, king of the hill, I'm feeling like I ain't. Living in the show, I'm standing out high, feel like a saint, yeah. I'm way too moody for a before, all in my drink, yeah. Okay, what you think? I got blue on his, all in your face, yeah.